everyone I hope you all are doing really well if you are new then hi my name is Aditi and today I'm going to try on some newly bought skincare hair care and a little bit of body care as well and uh, I have like a bunch of them lying with me and I really want to try them today with you guys so this is going to be my first impressions with these products this is not a full-fledged review but yeah I will be sharing with you guys like an overview about these products and how I feel about them and I think this video is going to be a little longer so without any further ado let's just get into it by the way this is my before skin so first of all I'm going to try the mama earth onion hair mask because I think this will be the the longest that I will have to keep so I will apply it the first this is how the packaging looks like it says that it is with onion oil and organic bamboo vinegar it claims to control hair for detangle hair and strengthen root suitable for colored and treated hair so this is the tub right here it looks huge but yeah I also want to just quickly tell you guys that I have not had a good experience with mama earth in the past like i ordered their onion hair oil off amazon and it was i do not know uh, i have ensured that it was from the seller mama earth but i guess it was fake because it smelled so bad like it smelled like chameli ka tail and also it was half filled and the color was like a transparent one whereas i asked some of my friends who already use it they said that they received like a slightly reddish colored oil uh, I'll just show you guys so, so this is how the hair oil looks like I have just used it once and I, I then stopped using it because I was so terrified that I will lose all my hair and so first of all this smells so Weird. it would give anyone a headache even if you are not so intolerant about fragrances still it will give you a headache so this is how the oil looks like oh my god it's going to fall off but yeah this is how it looks it is transparent and it's it just smells so bad so yeah I just, it just feels so nauseating to even sniff that fragrance now because it's all around Anyways, so this is the Mama Earth Onion Hair Mask and I'm going to try this. I hope it works fine. So the directions to use it that part your hair in two halves, take a palm full of hair mask and apply adequate quantity to wet hair and scalp. So we will have to wet our hair. And by the way, my scalp looks so oily. I haven't washed them since two days. And my ends, uh, they are not frizzy, but they look a little lifeless. Um, I think I'll just turn back so that you can see how my head looks. So yeah, that was the best I could show you guys because I do not have anyone to help me with filming and all. So yeah, now I'll just go wet my hair and come right back. So I'm back you guys. I just wet my hair under running tap water and then I squeezed out the excess water. Also, I forgot to completely comb my hair. Do not do that. You guys have to comb your hair before applying mask. So I'm just going to part my hair, open this one up, oh my god, this smells okay, this is how it looks, I'm just going to scoop out like this much of it and spread it between my palms like so. Then I'm going to take like another scoop of this, again rub it between my palms and I'm going to apply it on my lens, like so. So I have that applied all over my hair, I required about two and a half scoops of it to cover my waist length hair. So I am also going to shave my face today so I will just go wash my face. So for that I am going to try the simple refreshing facial wash. This is how it looks. So I am going to try this and then I will move on with facial razor. Uh, I got this from Nykaa for 
I guess 350 rupees and they have 15 pieces in it so I also want to shave my face because I see a lot of facial hair this simple face wash claims that it is 100% soap free it has no artificial perfume color no harsh chemicals uh, no alcohol no paraben no animal derived ingredients that sounds really good so I'm just going to quickly wet my face right here so that you can see how it lathers and whatnot And I'm going to take like a little bit of it. It's clear white gel. And yeah, so let's just apply it. So it has a very slimy texture to it. It does not foam a lot, but it's just enough. And yeah, so now I'm just going to wash it off and come right back. So I'm back, you guys, and this face wash was like really slimy, unlike other face washes. It just feel it just felt really smooth on the skin, and it definitely feels refreshing and uh, something like it has cleared my skin. It was a nice cleanser. I really liked it. It did not have any distinct fragrance to it. It was really kind on the skin and it did thoroughly cleanse my skin without over trying it, which is a good thing. So after that, I'm just going to take one of these face razors. By the way, the company name of these razors are Cosme Cosmetic. So I read a few reviews about this on Nykaa and they were quite good. So I just went ahead with this. Uh, otherwise, I use the Miniso razors, but Miniso, they do not have anything in stock right now. I think that is due to coronavirus. But uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to take the razor. It comes with a protective cap, <laughs> like so. And uh, yeah, it is not a tutorial. I'm not doing a face shaving tutorial. I'll just quickly do it so. I do not feel that it is even shaving my face. I do not see a single hair coming out. So I'll try another razor. Maybe that one was blunt. So let's see. Hmm, that one was definitely blunt. So out of 15, you might get some blunt head razors. So now about these lasers, some of them have like really blunt heads but uh, some of these are like okay, they are still not very sharp, um, something that a beginner would really like. Now for masking, I have few options. So I have uh, four sheet masks from Dear Packer and these are the coconut face mask, cinnamon plus honey sheet mask, then lavender plus argan oil and pea yogurt. Uh, from St. Ives I have two sheet masks. One of them is glowing sheet mask and the other one is a soothing oatmeal sheet mask. Uh, but I really do not enjoy using a sheet mask. I got all of them in PR but my oily skin hates sheet mask. So I will be applying a clay based mask today. So again I have two options in that. So the first one is this Wild Organica Home. Uh, two-in-one face cleanser and face pack this is how it looks this is in a powder format so you have to mix it with maybe a rose water water and the other one I have is the mama earth Uptent face mask this is how it looks I got it after I watched Shreya Jain's video she really liked it so I got it after that and it also comes with a spatula like so so this is how the tub looks like and this is how it looks from the inside it smells really good i i quite like the smell of it it smells quite minty the consistency of this is very creamy and thick
by the way my forehead my nose and my neck they are so tanned these days and from nc37 in winters it's not even summers yet okay and i have already turned nc40 so you can already imagine how quickly i get tanned the fragrance of this is really amazing it smells very very refreshing to me by the way don't be a stunt woman like me please do a patch test of each and every product you apply on your face by the way it is feeling really cool and is also tingling a bit on my face it feels very very refreshing first of all it's something which you would enjoy using in summers it feels very cooling and very very minty and by the time it dries i'll also use the good vibes strawberry lip scrub this is how it looks this is how it looks from the inside i can already sniff the fragrance of it it has like a very sweet candy like strawberry uh, fragrance to it and the sugar granules are quite small i'm just going to scoop out a little bit of that i'm going to start scrubbing my lips You have to be very gentle while scrubbing your lips. You do not want to really irritate your lips and cause micro tears. The scrub particles are really fine so it, the scrub won't just slip off your lips. So this is how my lips look after applying the lip scrub. It definitely looks a little pinker. I also do not see any dry patches on my lips. But please ensure that you are using very very light hands while using this lip scrub because it has like very fine granules to it so you know you do not want to cut your lips. So before this mask dries down and I am not able to speak I will just quickly talk to you guys about the few products that I will be using in the shower too. So uh, this is the Nivea Creme Smooth Shower Gel. This is how it looks. I actually really love Nivea body washes. I have uh, I have used their clay variant and in the winters I used to use their original like that navy blue Walla Dabba ka shower gel and that was so good you guys. So this time I got uh, the lighter blue variant and we will see how it performs. Then the other thing that I will be trying in the shower today is Dr. Moore Pen Clean and Pure Intimate Hygiene Wash. I got this in PR and uh, this is how it looks from the inside i have been actually using the peace safe intimate wash prior to this and that was really good as well but i have ran out of this and this just came in time it claims that uh, it has unique ph balance formula of lactic acid enriched with sea buckthorn and tea tree oil i have new shampoo as well it is from bedhead this is how it looks and it is the Urban Antidotes Re-Energizing Shampoo but I do not feel like using it because then it will contradict with the hair mask that I have applied and we will not be able to identify what has done what. So I will skip on this. I will use my regular hair wash today which is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Shampoo. Really love that shampoo. It's so smoothing and it's, it's really good. I really like that shampoo and yeah I won't be conditioning my hair as well and yeah my face mask is now like about 80% dry and now I'll just go wash my face wash my hair and take a shower and I'll come right back so I'm back from the shower and my skin feels extremely soft the face mask as well as the hair mask both were very easy to wash off I did not see a lot of hair falling off in the shower but we will see if I have any excess hair fall when I try to comb my hair but uh, so far so good. I actually like the onion hair mask better than the Mama Earth Argan hair mask. I have tried the sample size of it and I do not really like it. it it claims to control frizz but it does not. I think a normal conditioner performs better than this and then I also tried the Nivea Creme Shower gel and this this had such a mild fragrance it was so smooth it lathered well really like this it did not made my skin feel dry at all and then we also tried the dr Morpen clean and pure intimate hygiene wash now this packaging actually reminds me of the v wash uh, intimate hygiene wash but i do not really like that one at all this one was pretty good it cleansed really nicely but 
I do not like its fragrance. It smells a little bit medicine-y. But overall, uh, anything would be too quick to tell about this particular product. Uh, so I'll try it more often and then I will let you know my views. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see like a proper full-fledged review on any of these products, then please do let me know in the comment section below. I'd definitely do a full review on them. So yeah, now let's just move on to skincare. So first of all, I have this uh, Wild Organica Home Tea Tree Facial Toner. It is pure stem distilled tea tree water and it claims to reduce inflammation, acne and oily skin. By the way, it keeps getting gloomy and then sunny again because I think it's gone rain in some time so I'm just going to it smells really good like tea tree of course and uh, the mist was very fine and tea tree anyway is really good for oily and uh, acne prone skin so next we are going to try the aloe face moist from white organica home again this is how the moisturizer looks like it has like a natural fragrance to it and by the way this one claims to control face oil and prevent acne so i'm just going to take a little bit of it this one also feels really cool on the skin So I have that applied and by the way this one contains uh, no artificial colors and preservatives. So it has not been tested on animals and then it is 100% natural and has no fragrance and it is freshly homemade. So yeah this was the one it feels really light and soothing and refreshing and cool on the skin and it has provided some really good hydration as well. Really like it. We have the Good Vibes Rose Hip Radiant Glow Face Serum. This one has been loved by so many people so I really wanted to try it. And by the way, this Rose Hip Serum claims that it will provide that radiant, glowy, bright and smooth skin. So this is how it looks. It also comes with a dropper of its own. So I'll just remove this cap and attach the dropper to it. Now let's just see what is the hype all about. I'm going to pour like two, three drops of it. And by the way, if you ask me why I applied the serum after I applied my moisturizer and not before it because serums are usually a step before uh, moisturizer, th that is because this one has a lot of oils in it. And oils are supposed to be applied after moisturizer. So that was all for my skincare. I also have this L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Smoothing and Repairing Serum. And it claims that it has 70% uh, repairing ingredient ceramide plus UV filter. It is meant for unmanageable damaged hair. This is how the serum looks from inside. So I'm going to apply it on my hair. By the way, I'm air drying my hair. I never... Uh, blow dry my head like that's very rare so i'm just going to take a little bit of that on my palms like maybe a little more this much it's like a coin size and then i'm going to rub it between my palms and i'm going to apply it on my lens it smells like berries I like the fragrance it wasn't very liquidy or oily like it actually had a serum uh, consistency so I have nicely applied it on my hair strands the moisturizer and the oil has sinked into my skin and it does not feel or look very greasy or oily and by the way I also have the good wipes orange blossom screen brightening makeup cleansing lotion uh, I do not have any makeup right now so I have nothing on my face to remove now I am going to shoot another video um, after this so I will put on some makeup and after that I will try removing that makeup with this one and when I come back I will also show you how my hair looks so yeah this is how my skin looks right now Hey guys, so I'm back. I'll just quickly show you my hair and then we will remove this full face of makeup. So that is how our hair looks like. My scalp feels really light and my hair looks very shiny and soft. Uh, although I do not see a lot of um, 
major control in my frizz but uh, yeah overall it's quite good so this is how the good vibes orange blossom skin brightening makeup removing lotion looks like and uh, yeah so i'll just start by taking maybe one and a half pump of it uh, i'll just quickly remove my lashes first i'm just massaging it between my fingers I'll just quickly grab a tissue to wipe my face. Quite a lot of makeup came out but I'm just going to take uh, another pump of it and apply it near my eyes and lips. By the way it feels really cooling and uh, tingling on the skin especially on my lip area so if you have like very sensitive lip and eye then please use a micellar water or any other um, makeup remover that suits you to remove the makeup around your sensitive areas because this might just cause that burning tingling wala feelings so we have our makeup off and my skin is literally burning you guys like especially my lips I cannot even feel it it's just feeling so hot so make sure that you are using it very carefully if you are gonna remove uh, makeup around your eyes because if it goes into your eyes then it will burn so I will uh, use a clean cotton pad and my trusted Garnier micellar water just to see if there is any makeup residue still left on my skin although i will say that you require quite a lot of makeup remover if you are using the good wipes makeup cleansing lotion i took like about three pumps to just cleanse all of my face so let's just see it did not remove my uh, eyelash glue though So this was the residue that was still on my face. Not too much, uh, you could definitely have removed it using a face wash after cleansing your face with the lotion. And anyway, you must cleanse your face after removing your makeup. And yeah, so that will be it for me today's video, trying all of these skincare, hair care and body care products. I hope you really enjoyed this video, like it was a very new concept so i really do hope that you enjoyed watching this and if you did then please don't forget to give this video a like i will leave the link to purchase all of these products in my description box below also if you haven't subscribed yet then please consider subscribing and i will see you soon in my next video